blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, hopefully it works. It works, hopefully. Uh, let's start by, for example, hiding all the other geometry, all the unneeded geometry. And here, let's start why we need to use uh, the fillet edge and not the fillet surface. Okay, so let's try the fillet surface on, on this geometry by selecting two surfaces, this and this, radius 10, and then try the um, fillet edge on this edge with the radius 10. So fillet, radius 10, pick and pick, and that's it. Fillet edge, radius 10, pick, and that's it. And enter again. Uh, what we get is exactly the same geometry, it's a perfect cylindrical fillet, that's exactly what the two tool they, they does, but one of them gives you an, let me say, unexpected result. In fact, it's a perfectly, it's a perfect result, but it's not something you are looking for. The fillet surface, the fillet surface don't take care about the solid, so it creates just the surface, the fillet surface, uh, without considering anything else. So, because this was a solid, the fillet, this fillet surface, uh, it's let me say it's too lazy to cut away this two wing and because of this it makes just a single surface like this. The fillet edge is a much more, much more complicated tool. Uh, in fact it's a very, um, a very big uh, automation system. Okay, so it makes the correct fillet. It takes care about the surrounding surfaces it cuts what you don't need and it joins everything together to give you uh, a solid back, okay? So we need to use the solid edge, the fillet edge, because we prefer to have everything done automatically by Rhino. Of course, you need to have the good starting point to make Rhino working properly, okay? And next today we will see some strange uh, situa situation where Rhino doesn't really allow you to make uh, the fillet. So let's pass to the next row of objects, yes? This one? Ha, huh. who knows? Uh, you know, this is an ISO curve, so doesn't really matter if it's in the center or not. It's just the way they create the object. In fact, it's strange because it's a, it's a symmetrical object, and the other one, it works correctly. But again, the fillet edge, it's a very, very complicated uh, tools. Um, so it depends a lot on how the, the engineer they uh, program it, the, the behavior, okay? So um, at the moment we do not, do not mind about the, the isocore because the surface is correct and it's in the, in the correct place and everything is good, just not really in the center. Um, you probably will get an explanation better next in the in the lesson. Okay, so the next step is to uh, start facing with the three different tool. 
So you have here the uh, left mouse button, it's the fillet. Then you have uh, again here the right mouse button, that's the blend. And green here you have left mouse button of course, you have the chamfer. They are exactly the same. So if one of them it fails, also the other they fail. Okay? If one of them it works, of course all the other they works. What's the difference? It's just the surface they make in between the fillet. Okay? The chamfer is a flat surface, the fillet is a cylindrical surface, and the blend is a uh, more complicated, more smooth, a free-form surface, okay? The way they work is the same, so for now we focus on, on the fillet, but remember all the other two, they work the same, they have exactly the same option about um, variable radius, different radius, and etc. Okay? So, uh, No, sorry. Let let's try let's try the three of them. So let's try the chamfer, chamfer tool. Ten, enter, edge, enter, and enter again. Let's try the fillet. Ten, select, enter, enter again. And let's try the blend. Enter, enter, and enter again. You see, this time it's centered. Who knows? Okay, so this is a blend. <coughs> this is a fillet. And this is a chamfer. Uh, in the side view, it's much easier to see what's going on. Of course, this is a chamfer. Uh, of course, this is the fillet is an arc and this it's not an arc so this adds the blend that's a G2 surface okay the difference between fillet and, and, and blend it's uh, how fast they change the shape okay the the fillet doesn't take care about the the shape it's filleting so it has a specific radius, a fixed radius. The blend try to mix the radius you give to the radius at the start and at the end. So it's a smoother transition, okay? Um, today, most of the objects, they are designed by using more blend edges instead of fillet or chamfer, okay? Um, the fillet is very mechanical, it looks very mechanical, and today it's something a little bit old. Of course, if your meaning must to be mechanical, must to be technical, the fillet, the arc, is a very good choice. Okay, good. Next one, let's go to the next one. Okay, and now we will see the first problem. So let's start with a, uh, how to say, uh, with a controlled environment, fill a tool, uh, radius, this time let's do radius 5, it's a little bit shorter, it looks better. Let's do radius 5 and select all the, all the front edges and also the inside one. I select just the front to be faster, okay? 
and then enter and enter again and you get the result okay as you see this is a very very old and very mechanical way to to fill it probably the worst one but this is not a problem at the moment okay the first way is to do all the fillet with the same radius at the same time and it works there's no problem if you do good surfaces of course if you have very bad very strange surface something can happen but normally this it works uh, let's do the second uh, the second D and in this case uh, let's start by doing the front edges just the front not the vertical Are you sure always fillet edge always fillet edge we use just the fillet edge with the radius 5 okay and we have this ah, okay good nice to know okay at this point some problem could start okay let's try to fill it the remaining edges with radius 5 both the inside and the outside and see what happened hmm bad things happening Did you see? Okay. Uh, let's do another try. I move this a little bit back to see it better. Okay. Let's do another try. And it's this. Again, fill at five. This time, let's fill at the, the vertical, the deep edges. And then do the fill at the remaining edges as a second step. Uh, okay better if you do the inside first and no problem and then the outside bad man hmm. Uh, in Rhino you always have just one single problem it's always the same but it it appears to you in many different um, shapes okay the problem is where Rhino gets zero okay if Rhino gets zero he doesn't know how to do it zero it's nor addition nor subtractions in fact if you add or subtract zero from a number the number remain the same okay so the problem here is that rhino needs to know if it has to subtract or if it has to add but because it's zero he it doesn't know what to do and it gives you some weird results where he gets zero it's very simple he gets zero here and he gets zero here because when he try to do the the fillet okay in that point the two fillet has the same radius so one minus the other is equal zero 
5 mi minus 5, it's 0. And in this two-point rhino doesn't really know how to, to do. And because of this, it doesn't handle the, uh, the fillet and it doesn't give you any proper good result. Okay. That's quite bad, but okay. When Rhino goes here, when Rhino goes here, he has to rotate a uh, radius five along this. That's another radius five. So the rotation it's ar around this point. So in this point you have zero. You do not have any material, no? Because it's a point. And because that is a point, in fact, is a singularity. If you remember what the singularity is, this adds a triangular surface, so there you get a singularity. Rhino doesn't know how to handle it. And uh, it's not just a problem of Rhino, but it's a problem of many, many surface modeler. This is not a problem in the solid modeler because they don't care about the geometry. And because of this, they don't have this problem. But in surface modeling, this is one of the most difficult uh, tricks to do. Okay. And also here, if you try to uh, to fill a this, Rhino it try to create a radius that goes into a point, and here you get zero. So it's not able to cut the side surfaces by the new one. I know, that's a limit, you have to, to know. But there's a solution. The solution is very simple, it's quite stupid, it's probably not very uh, clear, not very, um, let me say, l um, transparent, uh, brilliant, but it's, it's, it's a clever solution, okay? Uh, in fact, the problem is because Rhino has exactly the same radius. So let's change the radius. Let's try 4.95 and see what happened. If we try 4.95, no. Yeah, fast to work, okay. Yeah, sure. If you try a 4.95 radius, you get the result you, you are looking for. That's very good, okay? What's the difference? In real world, how much is the difference between 5 and 4.95? How much is it? Try with your, with your finger to... Nothing. In a production, you have much bigger mistakes for the molding. The pieces coming out from the mold, they have much bigger mistake, much bigger error. The 0.5 let Rhino to add this small fourth side here. That's needed to get the result you you want. Okay, the radius of this is 0 0.05. That's what Rhino needs to be able to pass through the through the corner. Okay, this is a very very bad trick, but it always works, so why not to do it? And because of this, we get the first rule. Come on. The first rule is do the fillet together. If you don't, do it by starting from the big one to the small ones. And that's very important. 
and that's very important. Okay, as we saw, if you do the fillet all together, you probably get a better result. But if you don't, the only solution you have is to start from the big one and then going into the smaller one. Uh, in certain way, this is not so bad because first of all, you have to do the um, the aesthetical fillet that they are the bigger one. And then you have to do the technical fillet. They are the smallest one. So it's not so a bad word, you know? It's not so bad. Any question? Is it clear until there? Did you solve some of your mistake you made in the homework? I'm just tired. I'm sleeping. Come on. Take it. Good. <coughs> okay, let's go to the next row. Let's oh shit. Let's go to the next row. Let's go to the next row. Okay, the next row is this. Okay, very good. So what we can do is this. Okay, it's fillet. Let's say 10, for example. We can do the, the deep edges by 10. Then we can do enter, enter again. It's quite good. Then we can do fillet edge 5 and doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc, etc. All the other edges by radius 5. That works, no problem, okay? Because we are going from the big to the small. I'm not used to have here in the first row. Oh, strange for me. always in the, in the last corner so geez. have you tried it works good so ah, shit. what's the problem okay hide this try next the next step is to do the same but in the same tool probably I already showed you this so if you write down 10 enter you can select the edges with radius 10 and wait for me and if you write 5 enter you don't need to do the radius you can add different radius inside the same tool so you can decide to have this as a, as a 5 and go on enter and enter again and you get this result in a single stroke that's faster clear I was too fast. Can I? I can repeat. Okay, by yourself, let's try the other way. This way. Oh. Hmm. Try to invert the radius. Uh, it was 5, so do 10. It was 10, do 5. And this is the result you get something
There is something you see in this? Yeah, question? That's true. Uh, I changed a little bit uh, the meshing the meshing option, so just the next. But what I want to show you is it's this. Do you look at the two uh, the two fillet? Okay, they have the same numbers five and ten. Okay, but they look the same. No, and there's one that's better, good, and one that's very bad. From my point of view, yes. Okay, uh, there's a big difference. In here, you have radius 1, sorry, radius 1, that's bigger than radius 3, radius 2, and radius 3. Okay, we have one big radius, and around the, the, round, the big one, you, we have two small radius. In this one, we have the opposite, we have radius 2 and radius 3 bigger than radius 1. This, it results in a very bad solution. This, it results in a much better solution. Okay? And this, it's one of the biggest problem when you do fillet. Because it doesn't, not only it matters which kind of radius you choose, but also it matters where you try to intersect the radius. According to how you choose to have the different radius, you get better or bad solution. This solution is quite typical in solid modeling. And I'm used to look on the object and I'm used to to see how much bad edges they make be because they don't care about this. And for me it's very, very ugly to see it because yeah, it's something they can fix very, very easily, okay? So, doing the radius is not just a technical stuff, but it's absolutely about design. If you do the radius in one way or in the other, you get a very different shape. So one could be a good result and one could be a bad result. Let me show you another example I like very much to do. Again, the radius are exactly the same, 10. And five. Hopefully it works. This is what I want. Uh, oh no. <laughs> okay, let's do step by step. It's easier. Then I'm faster than myself. Okay, and for ten. So I would like to have. This and five and Okay. Again, this set for me it's astonishing. It's absolutely important you know. Uh, the same dimension, ten and five, the same box, but the result it's so much different from a design point of view. The iPhone and the Nokia. Is not? Yeah, is it? Absolutely. Okay? So, again, try to start thinking on the fillet, not only as a cutting of the edges, but as a real powerful design tool. Okay? And this, for me, is the example. Okay. I didn't do anything special, really. Just changing the radius. Changing the way the radius they act. The selection, yes. The 
Yeah, I impose to have the radius 10 in vertical for this, and the radius 10 in horizontal for the other. That's it, the only difference. But the shape I see is completely different, okay? If you want to become a designer, it's very important you start to look at the object also within this perspective. Try to understand if that object, it, good, it looks good because the proportion, because the main surfaces, or because just the radius. Some object, they look good just because they did a very good um, filleting, okay? Any other question? Okay. Sure. Uh, give me a second. I will show you this next. Okay. Uh, I will focus. I need to focus on two radius for a little while anymore, a, a little bit, and then we sh we will see three different radius. Okay. Any other question? Okay, um, next step, the next step is according to these rules, to, to these main rules, what we can do is something, something more. Okay, let's try to have radius 10 for the, um, for the edges in the dip. Uh, this time I work only on the outside, that, that's faster, I don't need to work in the, in the hole anymore, so then let's do radius 5 here, okay, so it's 10 here, and come on, okay, and 5 there, okay. This time I would like to show you the options. So. The, the fillet tool is made in two pieces. The first piece is mainly for selecting the edges. And the second part is more for tweaking the, the radius and to check all the option. Okay, so this time we press enter just once and we look on the, on the option we have here. <coughs> we have many options. The, the first part is about the handles, okay? The handles is the, uh, the way to handle the radius. It's the way to decide the radius you want to, uh, to give. Um, let me show you the handle in a better way. Here you are. Okay, for every uh, vertex, for every edge you have two handle, okay? In this vertex you have three handle because the three edges. Um, every handle it's normal to the edge, okay? So the red one, it's this, the, the green and the blue. Okay, the handle is mainly made by two things. Uh, you have the preview here. This is the preview of the section. It's the theoretical section. And the radius here you have. The radius dimension, okay? You can pick each handle and you can change each handle one by one no problem uh, you can pick and drag to change the handle by dragging or you can pick write a number enter to change the handle by number in the top part here you can reset this is more reset reset all Reset. 
all mixed. This is more reset all handles. So with this tool, you pick this tool and you can write a number, 10 enter, and all the handle becomes 10. Okay? All the handles. So it's a reset tool. Uh, of course, you can copy the handle and you can add the handle. Let's have a look on the add handle. Look at me and then do the same. Okay? In this example, we have this radius that's constant radius 5. But what I want to do is to increase the size here to get radius 10 in this position. Okay? So I can pick the add handle, add handle, write down 10 enter, first the number and then the selection. And then going here, I can I can pick the midpoint to add the new radius. In this way, enter, you see, I can create a variable radius. Okay? So I can select different radius, but I can also create a variable radius. Okay? Using the add handle, pick in there, variable radius. Try it. Have you tried? Okay, let's say okay, enter, and see what happened. Mm, oh gosh. Funny for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> this is Rhino. <laughs> he don't like it to let you to do stupid things, so he tried to make things even worse when they really are bad. Mm, good, so. What happened here? What happened here? Here, this, it happened. When Rhino starts, he starts with the sharp edges, okay? So the uh, variation in the radius starts from this point and it goes in the mi in the in the middle no let's try to explain me better okay we were here okay but in fact we had three corner no so the change in the radius start from the vertex but because now the vertex it's cut by the other radius this one when Rhino gets this position, here the radius is not 5, it's, let me say, 5.48 or something. It's a little bit bigger. Wow. So, this shape is not a sphere anymore, nor a cylinder, nor a cone. And... If it's not a cylinder, a spear, blah, 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 Rhino has a different solution. That's this very awful shape. Mm. Again, the problem here is not the shape itself. It's not the solution. The problem here is this point. This point, again, it's zero because the two radius there are the same. And the shape Rhino, it creates it's the ugliest one because it has a singularity here. You see all the isocope going in there. Mm. That's very bad. Okay. So, sometimes it's better to do better. Look at me a second, please. I will show you how to do in this case. Okay. It's the same as before. 10, 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. 
enter. Okay. What I would like to do is to keep the radius 5 in this part of the drawing to be able to get this very nice and smooth transition here. Okay. And let the rhino start the variation, for example, from this section and have the variation in the middle. Okay. So what I do here is to add handle, but this time I add three different handle. One in here, one in the lower, and then the one in the middle. Hmm. Good. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay. They always change things. Okay. In this way, hopefully, we get the proper result. Uh, why, man, you are so... Mm. Okay. Uh, Sometimes they, they change the behavior, so, okay. Um, if this is not, it's not solved, doesn't solve, I have another solution, and this time I'm sure it works. So, what's the next solution? Try to do the radius 10 first. And at this point, Rhino cannot refuse to do the radius 5 as I want. Yes. Okay. I finish the tool and that's it. Okay. I, I, I kept this part and I imposed to Rhino to start the variation from here to there. So the radius, it changed only in this part. And because of this doesn't affect this corner, that looks that looks pretty. Okay. To do this, you have to do do the radius in two steps. First, big one. Second, smaller and variable. Okay, so first of all, let's do the two 10 radius. And then the radius five and as a third, Here, add handle. So, this example help us to found the second, the second rule. If the first doesn't work, the first rule is to try to make all the fillets together. If the first rule doesn't work, do the opposite, opposite. Do the big first and the small next. That's the second rule. 
I know we already know this, but it's very important. Okay? Uh, doing design filleting, it's not a science. I'm sorry, no, it's not really a science. It's something more magical, something more like be a wizard and try to mix all the special stuff together and have a potion. Uh, that, that's something, something strange. Uh, because it depends a lot on the, on the input. The result depends a lot on the input and on the way you give the input. So uh, it's something you have to really practice, okay? Don't be scared if the radius doesn't, doesn't work. Try a different way. Try to understand why it doesn't work. It doesn't work because Rhino gets zero, because some intersection, it failed. So try to understand where's the failed intersection and try to change the things, the way you are working to get the result. <coughs> okay, any question? Let's go through to the next row. The next row, we saw all three radius, one radius, one plus two, two plus one, very bad, two plus one variable, So, because we have three edges in a corner, we are missing just one solution. Three different radius in the same vertex. Mm. That's the, that's a complex solution. <laughs> uh, it doesn't happen so often, often, but sometime happen. Okay, let's try to do variable fillet, radius 10, one and two, radius five, one and two and three, and radius three, this, okay? So it's 10, it's five, and this one, it's three. This is again not what I'm <coughs> expecting, but okay. Uh, here we are using the SR10, Stefano just updated the version and in the SR10 they add a lot of different stuff in the fillet. So some of them, it, the, they, they appear the first time also for me, I'm sorry for this. The SR10 it's, it's very brand new, uh, it's the, uh, the half of December. Uh, this version it come out in the half of December, uh, in the first of December, sorry. Here, you see, it's coming from the 1st of December. And I know they changed a lot of stuff in the fillet. Uh, so this is not something I'm, I'm expecting. But again, no problem. Uh, it's just to understand why he does this way and how to solve. Uh, in this case, I'm expecting something very different, but okay. Um, again, this solution here is to not do the fillet in once because uh, at the moment, it doesn't really handle this, this point. And let's try to do the fillet in two steps. 
No? If we do this, the fill it in two step, maybe we get, we get something. Uh, let's do the variable radius. So I already did the radius 10 here, and then I add the radius 5 somewhere here, and the radius 3 somewhere there. Okay, very good. Uh, gosh. Wait. Let's do it this way. Look at me. Let me try many times and find the proper way. Now I know which is the proper way, but okay. Um, you see, it's acting very differently according on how you select the edges. Okay, don't care about this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted a transition from five to three. So this is one of the possible million transition between five and three. Yes, yeah, sure, but not what I'm looking. Okay, what I'm looking for. The transition I want is a transition where the the strain, the vertical edge, it's three. All the other edge is five. And the transition happens only between three and five. So in here. Okay. This is the way I want to draw this. Um, this transition. It's my choice. It's a design choice. I like this way. You can like it in different way. Okay. So for my solution, that's of course the best one. Thank you. Again, you have to do two steps. That's not bad. Again, you have to do from the big to the small. And this time you have to, again, use something. I don't like it, but if it works, it works. L let's look at me and they try and then try yourself. First of all, I start with all the edges with radius 5. Okay? So now I have a constant radius. But what I want to get is radius 3 here, radius 5 here and transition here and there. Sure, what I need is a variable radius. So using the add handle, I can add all the handle I need. Uh, in this case, I prefer to add all the handle directly and then change the, the radius. Okay, so I have one, two handle here and there, that's three, and one handle and another handle, that's five. And I get exactly the solution I'm looking for, that's this one. That's the best one. I think this is the, the best solution you can do, okay? Try it. <laughs> 